It's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. It's the 7th of June, 2020. We're busting a half case of a 2020 Bowman Baseball from Tops. This is a half of a Jumbo HTA case. We went to random.org to determine your teams. Here they are. Matthew Wag with the Angels. Joe with the Mets. Karen with the Mariners and Cardinals. King of Pop <laughs> with the Reds. Nick the Miz with the Astros. Justin with the A's. Aaron J with the Red Sox. Chris, Yankees. Josh Will with the Tigers, JT with the Marlins, Philip with the Indians, James and the Giant Peach has the uh, Phillies and Giants, Robert, OTO, welcome to our break room. You got the White Sox, Philip with the Braves, Justin Royal, Scott from the Red Zone with the Blue Jays, Chuck from McDonald's with the Dodgers, Travis with the Rangers, Brandon Z, Orioles, Jason Robb from Texas with the Rays, Jason T-E-R with the Padres, Patrick with the uh, Cubs and Pirates, Jason Rob Brewers, Travis Rockies D-backs, and Chris CAS got a free spot in the break. He has the Twins and also the Nationals. Here are your shipping details, guys. For this break, you will get all autographs. You will get all parallels, including refractors. All the inserts are refractors in this. Uh, for the team you got in the random. All chrome base cards. We are going to ship a random stack to every spot in the break. So all the base chrome, first Bowmans, and regular prospect cards, all that stuff. If it's chrome, it's random stacks. We don't sort them. However, instead of Trevor doing all of that randomizing during shipping, if we pull a chrome Bobby Witt or a chrome Jason Dominguez, we will do that live on the air to see who gets it. Um... No paper ships in this break, except Dominguez and Witt. Dominguez will go to the Yankees. Witt will go to the Royals for the paper cards. So those are the shipping details, as they have been explained, George. Thanks, Robert. We appreciate that, buddy. Robert's the man. Robert's the best, maybe the best Robert in history. Certainly one of the best Robert Woods ever. Let me show you a trick, George. Wow, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> that's fa well, it's like a drawbridge. You don't like that? What's up, Trev? That's how you open your cards right there. Yeah, but wonder if you want to use the box again for something special. I don't. Well, Do you ever use the box for something special? Somebody might want to use it again. I don't know. I can't tell. I wonder if George ever used the box for something special. I don't know. Thanks, JL3. Looks like you've got a leaning tower of cards. Was that, was that a joke? Well, you did. They were leaning for a minute there. I don't know. If no that, I don't even know if we could rate that one. It, it wasn't really a joke. I was just making a comment as to the fact that your cards were leaning. Your beard is leaning. Could be. All right. Paper. We're going to look for Witt and Dominguez in our paper cards. And we're starting out with an auto. Brennan Davis. Brennan Davis Purple. Autograph number to 250. Love the design this year. Cubbies. Yo, Chicago. Cubs and Pirates. Patrick. Patrick. Nice one there. All refractors shipped to your teams. So all inserts, basically. As far as that goes. Paper, double checking those. Brady Singer. Random stack ship on the chrome cards, guys. So I'm making a chrome pile here. Everyone gets an equal stack of chrome from the break. If we happen to pull a Witter Dominguez, we'll randomize that live on the air. Paper, refractors. All right, chrome. <laughs> Put it in the closet. That's a good idea, Justin. That's actually a good way to do it. You go back to it when these guys emerge. You can go back, and it's kind of fun to look through the boxes again. Joe Adele, Sean Murphy, 
Dalton Warshow. Go through some of the base pretty quick here, guys. Best shipper in the business, one Trevor. One Trevor. And Hernandez and Carrot Top, Dustin May, Refractors. There's a Dominguez paper going to the Yankees. We'll just top load that in a second. Chrome Random Stacks Ship. Dominguez. There you go, New York. This paper card's nothing to sneeze at. I've seen a couple graded ones sell pretty well on eBay. That's a good plan too, John Rob. Just kind of go through the rookies every so often. Wander Franco, one of the Rays. And Ooh, we've got a Daniel Espino. It's like an Under Armour auto. There you go. Baseball Factory on card auto. The national team. Hmm. There you go. Let's look him up. I can't remember. We should know who he is. We just got him in Bowman Draft like three times. I think that's going to be Indians, but let me uh, let me look him up. Daniel Espino. Probably doesn't say here. Yeah, let me look. Stand by. It's Indians. Cleveland Indians. Yep, Cleveland. There you go, Indians. That is where are you at, Indians? That's Philip. Here you go, Philip. Philip on the board. Right, Brady Singer and Munoz. Those are kind of cool to get on card auto. Extra chrome card in that box. Had a great Bowman draft break just a few minutes ago. Don't know if you guys caught that. Pretty good stuff came out of that half case. Seemed like a first round hot case or something. No problem, Philip. Philip on fire. The sacred, the holder of the sacred chalice of uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson Bat Barrel cards. It's hard to let that thing go, Philip. Nate Pearson. All right, guys. We got Leaf Memorabilia Vault up next, fantasy draft style. Pulling some memorabilia items of entertainment stars, sports stars, all different stuff. Let you guys pick your hits. Do a case of that right after this. Poison paper. Poison. I know. Once it's gone, it'll never come back, right? Not something you can get out of a pack again. And we have an auto. Tony DeBrell. Tony DeBrell, first Bowman for the Mets. There you go, New York. That's Joe recording. Joe Reck? Joe Reck. Joe Reck in it from Iowa. There you go. New York Metropolitan. 
refractors. Bray oh, there's a uh, Bobby Witt paper. That'll go to the Royals. And I see yellow, George. We have a yellow refractor, Joe Adele. Very nice for the Angels. We met him at the uh, Tops event this year. Tops Conference, 75 of 75. There you go, Angels. Last one stamped of the new yellow parallel. Tenth pick in the draft a couple years ago. Right, Bobby Witt paper. Almost sent it to him. What was their fee like, Philip? Do you remember? On a card like that? And yellow again. We have a Julio Rodriguez yellow paper this time. Number to 75. Here we go, Mariners. Seattle. Ten percent? That's not bad. Not bad at all. People might get crazy over that thing. And I see some teal, which will be numbered to 125 back here. Let's see what we've got. We have a teal Nolan Jones. Nolan Jones, 120 of 125 going to the Indians. Go Cleveland. That was box one. Thanks for uh, tuning in here, guys. A little bit longer break. Bowman here. I wouldn't grade that card if it was me, Phil. That's just my opinion. I don't... You're not really comparing it to anything. You know, if it gets a nine, it's not like, I mean, it's not like your grade's better than all the other ones. They're, that's the only one. So I don't I don't really see a benefit. If it comes back with a bad grade, that actually hurts it. So I, I don't know that I would grade it. I might authenticate it. Just tell them to authenticate it, but I don't know, man. What do I know? Maybe it comes back with a 9, 5, or 10, <laughs> and it helps it. So, yeah, I wouldn't grade a card like that. <clears throat> uh, Shoeless Joe uh, Bat Relic. Yep. You can check out our videos uh, on our YouTube page, guys. You can go here. I don't remember which... You can type in 2019 Flawless. It'll bring up every Flawless and NT baseball break we did, and you'll see the screenshot of it. Uh, the bat actually has his last name carved into it. It says Jackson. You check that break out. Pretty good stuff. Very cool. And uh, for the Pirates, Shortridge. Aaron Shortridge. There you go, Pittsburgh. First Bowman. That is going to be the Pirates. I don't see the Pirates. Oh, well, Pirates, I can't find you. Oh, they're a Cubs-Pirates combo. Okay. Patrick SCH. Second hit for Patrick. All right. That was a great break. They didn't even have it in a mag. They just had it in the box, too. That was weird. Well, I didn't expect it. I thought a card like that would have been one of the encased hits. I didn't expect it to be sitting in at the bottom of that cardboard box. <laughs> it's kind of surprising. Oh, it's the first video that pops up. Yeah, cool. He still <clears throat> sleeps with it under his pillow. Yeah, it's had a bunch of views too. People watch that a lot. <clears throat> Need to post it on our page every now and then. Just say throwback or something. All right, Chrome is random stacks. Paper does not ship except for the two big boys. Let's 
Scott has a question about a uh, Galvin Lux on card auto. He got asked if you should get it graded. Or what not. kind of card is it, Scott? Depends on the kind of card, I guess. And is it in good condition? That'd be my first question always. I don't want to grade something if it's not in good condition, unless it's like a vintage card. Then I would. On on in some cases, depends. Thanks, John Rob. Yeah, it's at the very end of the break, too. And we have a light blue. Nice. Rookie light blue paper Luis Robert for the White Sox. That's a... Excuse me, that's a nice one. Rookie card Robert. We do a best hit of the night. Yeah, we send it to uh, Beckett, Keaton. We do like they, they'll post it on their page. Um, how long have we been doing that? Six months. I was gonna say about six months, probably. Something probably. Like and we've got a talent pipeline. Nice one there, Luis Robert again. Poison. Scott said it's Bowman Chrome in excellent condition. Bowman Chromes usually grade very well, so that would be one I would usually lean toward grading. <clears throat> Scratching is the main thing, centering. Uh, Joey Cantillo, 2 of 125. Don't put it in a mag. That'll scratch it, just in case. We go Padres. Or it can scratch it. I'm not saying it will. And inserts. Paper. Still no Chrome Wit or Dominguez. Uh, they send out a tweet. Yeah, they tweet it. They put it on their Facebook page. Um, they might put it in an email blast. I'm not really sure about that. But yeah, it's on Beckett. Um, Beckett Live presents for sure, and I think maybe the main Beckett page. There you go, Bobby Witt going to the Royals paper. Well, have fun, Taylor. Oh yeah, you got to be back for your break. There you go, Poison. That'll be a random stacks on the Chrome. Taylor got to draft her hit. That's true. Bobby Witt. Uh, you'll have time, Taylor. You got 30 minutes. Break starts at 7 p.m. Central. Maybe her son likes to take long, slow soaking bubble baths. Why are you creepy? That was the creepiest thing I've ever heard. In my really? Life. Creepiest you ever heard? Rate that on the what? creepiness scale. Say that. You're like, what if her son likes to take long soaking, steaming? I didn't say that. The bubble bass. I, I, I didn't think I said it that way either, but okay. Wow. Sam Huff. Good American name, George. Sam Huff. Oh, Club 101. Yeah, Keaton. What happened to them? Club 101 doesn't retweet us anymore. It was disturbing. <laughs> Who said that? I, I, would expect, right. I would expect nothing less from El Rey. See, El Ray, stop being mean to my dad, says Keaton. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, Keaton defending the loin himself, the man that owns the loins. Wow. That was creepy. What was Gumby? Oh, you just saw the marquee. Thanks, C. Sam. Now that's what you call it, George, a marquee. Pat said muted from here on out. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't see it. 
see Pat's comment, but okay. See Sim jumping on the John Rob bandwagon to defend George. Here we go, uh, Mets. Joe Gennord. Joe Gennord, that is a refractor auto to four ninety nine. Mets second hit of the break. Joe Wreck. Joe's wrecking it, George. Yamamoto, AJ Puck, refractor inserts. Chrome. Oh, it's all good, Pat. <laughs> I just have to watch what I say. It's probably easy to not say anything. To just say oh, it. gosh. Here we go. So. Laying it on thick. I'd like Rambo to get a hold of you. I'd like you to go through Rambo's training program. I'd like to go through Rambo's training program. Whoa. The first day. It, it'd and then be, I, yeah, but, it'd yeah, be on. Never mind. It'd be on. <laughs> then you could whoop me? No, no, I wasn't going to say that. You were going to say a bad word. No, I wasn't. George is going to unleash bad words. Trev will do a celebrity break. Trev's going to break uh, wrestling. We'll get him on stage for wrestling. And blue refractor. Jaron Duran Duran. Hungry like the wolf. To 150 going to the Red Sox. Duran, first Bowman. Aaron J. Yo, Aaron J. Nice one. And Duran. Garcia. There's a uh, Dominguez paper, our second one. Two Wits, two Dominguez, I believe. All right, Yankees getting that paper, Dominguez. All right, second half of the break. Trev said he'll wear his tights. I don't know if we'd sell out soccer. John Rob, you guys should get t-shirts for the George Fan Club. I think he'd sell like three or four of them. I think everyone would buy one, actually. What would you use the money for, George? Well, the money wouldn't go to me. Who would it go to? Uh, I don't know. I mean, why would I get the money? Because it's your fan club. Yeah, that's not the way it works. Wow. Stop being mean to my dad. Philip wants a Gumby shirt. I think they have those somewhere. We have mailed out Gumby, Philip. I don't know if you knew that. Gumby is in the postal uh, system right now. We have a new Gumby because our arm broke on the other one. Uh, Michael Bello. Michael Bello for the uh, Brewers. Autograph prospect. That's Jason Robb from Texas. Yeah. Bello. A George's Guy shirt. Wow. Just wear an LSU shirt. You can go to the Human Beings Foundation. There you go. That's a good idea. <laughs> like George Costanza started. What's up, Aaron G? Uh, stand by, guys. Anti bullying. That's a good idea, too. Oh, I like gosh. that. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. That was good, Trev. Come on, Rambo Training Camp. All my teams for 2019 break are hitting for 2020. Oh, no. Bobby Witt insert. Mega Royals. All the refractors do ship to your teams, guys. And all the inserts are refractors, so. What? What is Philip talking about? Well, no, we have another Gumby. He's been replaced by another Gumby. And we've got uh, one of the greatest autos we've seen from uh, Bowman this year, Patino. Look at that signature to four ninety nine. That's how you sign a card, George. Pittsburgh Pirates first Bowman. Refractor. Pirates. That's Cubs Pirates. Golly. Patrick 
Combo. Three hits? Three hits. Three autos for the combo spot. Yep. The Gumby is shipped. Broken arm Gumby. We have a Chrome Bobby Witt. That will be a random that we will do live on the air since Chrome cards are random stacks. We will do that at the end. Somebody's getting Bobby Witt as part of their stack of Chrome. America. Wow. Gumby is in transit. People, I think, are going to take a picture with Gumby and then mail it to another Dynasty Break Trading Post member. That's a good idea. Gumby is going to travel the world, George. I think that's a great idea. We will have a Gumby photo album, possibly. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Y'all do that. It's on its way to the mayor first, maybe. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Pat, I think you got a big typo in your sentence there. A very large typo. I will not say it, <laughs> but I think there's a typo over in Facebook. Oh, uh, we can't read it to you guys. That cannot be ignored. Um, might want to not say that. Disinfect Gumby. Wow. And we've got Jacob Amaya, first Bowman. Teal Shimmer to 125. There you go, Dodgers. Amaya, 73 of 125. Yeah, we need, Gummy needs to be sent to Hawaii for a little rest and relaxation. A little R&R. &R. Let's have a picture of Gumby laying on the beach. Gumby could be headed to Ohio, but again, I can't confirm that. Austin Nola. Austin Nola for the Mariners. Light blue paper to four ninety nine. As you got as you guys uh, ship Luis Robert. Gumby around, you may have to improve on a shipping container or that type of thing. Make sure he's packed up good. And we have a dark blue paper. That's unusual. Two uh, paper parallels in the same pack. JJ Blade, nice. That's a lot of peas. Miami. Two paper parallels in the same pack. Paper parallel pack. J.J. Blade to 150. Dark blue. J.J. Blade. Oh, oh, oh. Phillip's going to take him to Maui. Wow. Whoa. Get him back from Phillip all sandy. <laughs> all the stories you'll be able to tell. The... Oh, the places we'll go, George. What a great book. Well, that's fine, JL3. It's just a matter of you guys passing them along. Spend the next year having travel around. Pat feels like George. <laughs> 52 weeks, 52 spots. Every breaker gets a whole week with Gumby. Whoa. Yeah, take Gumby on vacation. Take him to the grocery store with you. Oh, we got a Dominguez Chrome. Also, there, there you go. Wit and Dominguez so far. And we have a Refractor Parallel, one of the Padres. Cantillo, our second Cantillo, I believe. Parallel. To four ninety nine. Very nice Dominguez. Again, we're going to randomize for Dominguez and Wit. Live on the air at the end of this break. I like it. That Phillip, way you guys will know who's getting them. Philip says everywhere Gumby goes, they have to add a little something from where they are from. So just a little memento. So like if he goes to Ohio and then let's say he went to Hawaii. So would you get the Ohio item? No, it stays with him. So when he finally comes back a year from now, he's got 52 items with him. Oh, so in other words, like the third person, it'll have two items in the package. Yeah, the fourth have the will have. Yeah. Okay, so this box is going to be like a crate. At well, you the can, end. it's got to be a little item, like a you know a seashell or something like a tiny seashell or something like. Or like that. a hair. Well, maybe not a hair. 
probably going to end up with some of that anyhow. We don't know if we want the mayor to add something to the box. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, she may find a way to get rid of that item she has at her house, so I don't know. Rock, shell, twig, so on. There you go. Dominguez, paper. Yankees again. There you go. Uh, Alan... All, uh, I'll let Dane explain it. Alan's asking why wouldn't you get them to the team? I think you're talking, he's talking about the Chrome, Dominguez, and Witt. Because Chrome cards in this break are random stacks ship. Everyone gets a stack of Chrome cards. We do those live on the air because we want transparency. We want people to know that someone got the, those cards. Um, that's, what, that's why we do those live on the air. And that gives everybody in this break has a shot at these big rookie cards. Even if you don't get a good team, these Chrome cards, there's five in every pack. There's some, there's some pretty good value in these. So we want everybody to have a shot. And we literally, here's our stack so far. So we literally just break these up evenly and everyone gets some. So... But we don't ever want anybody to say, well, I wonder if anybody actually got the Dominguez. or No, we're, we're going to do that live on the air. So we'll, we'll know who gets it. Yeah. I mean, again, it's just got to be little small things. It's going to get more expensive to ship it, but... Can you tell what state a twig is from? Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, nice. Logan Allen for the Indians to four ninety nine. Cleveland Refractor Auto. Cleveland. I think all that's the Philip. I think all twigs from Hawaii come with a autograph on them. It says like Maui. What's that uh thing they wear? Is it a a lay? A lay. It's gonna throw a lay in there. Yeah, see, that's kind of hard. I mean, lays don't they don't weigh very much, but it, <laughs> There's a the joke the there. Uh, it's a great idea. The actual. Uh, I just got a parking ticket the other day. I'll send that with Gumby. Fair enough. There Justin. you go. Wonder how the how each person each person gets to decide where it goes next. I would use the trading post for that. We have to talk to Taylor about this. She's like giving her kid a bath right now or something, so she's not in chat. But we gotta explain how this whole thing works. Well you so gotta post a picture in the trading post, right? Yeah, so Justin, when you uh, when they ask you what happened to your your parking ticket, why you didn't pay it, you can just say Gumby stole it. I don't know where he is. I'll send a Trubisky. <laughs> He's base. somewhere in the country. Wow. I'll when, send a Trubisky <laughs> base card now, John Rob. <laughs> you've been collecting those for so long. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yep. Jason said we got to make Gumby a small face mask to wear. I think you should do it too. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, send the stick that says Jackson on it. With, <laughs> oh, with Gumby. stick that one in there. Yeah, it's got to be well thought out. It's got to be a small, small item. So we got to tell Taylor how this is going to work. Someone's in charge of telling Taylor how it's going to work. Mandy, the governor, are you here? I feel like the governor outranks the mayor, though. That's not. I thought Taylor was the mayor. Mandy, you're responsible for the uh, traveling Gumby. I think it's a great idea. As your first Love duty. It. Then when it comes back, we can take the 52 items. I do outrank the mayor. Not if you spell out with P U T. If it comes back, then we take then we take the fifty two items, and we show pictures of them. Yeah. We let everybody vote. Don't you have to put your name on each item? And then the, the item is associated with the person. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're just not associated originally with the person. And then whoever votes as the favorite item that was in there, we'll give them a card or something. So I'll post this in the trading post. How about that? George and I will make a post. Random stacks on Chrome. Whoever gets the best pull of the week gets Gumby. That's a good idea. <laughs> but then Philip would always get Gumby. Yeah. 
Um, Joey Cantillo. Joey Cantillo for the Padres. Sparkle Teeny Auto, number to 299. Padres are Jason Turr. There you go. Here's your numbering. It's upside down to 299. Jason. Jason got a tool today and an auto. An auto. Cantillo hot case. And I guess if it gets too big to ship around, y'all could ship part. You could ship some of the items back to us, and we'll keep them. And then you keep shipping Gumby. Oh no, I I took away the governor. It's not governor. You've got to be like the vice mayor, or you're like the treasurer, maybe. What's under the mayor? Like the uh, mayor uh, pro tem? No, that's not right. Uh, assistant mayor. I think I think that really is a. Assistant mayor, is that what it's called? Yeah, you're you're the. I don't know. It's A S S period mayor. That's what you are. Right, George. Is that what Mandy is? I don't know. I don't. Or I is it A S T? I didn't Sorry. have anything to do. Bobby Whip paper. With the uh, appointment of anybody. George is behind it all. Mandy says you can't take my title away. I agree, Mandy. I was voted in by the masses. Self-appointed title. Vice <clears throat> mayor. There you go. Thank you. Right. Jason's going to rent an 18-wheeler for Gumby. Wow. Christian Robinson refractor. Lieutenant mayor. Yeah, that could be right. And chrome. Blade in there. All right, Bobby Witt going to the Royals. Third one, I believe. Paper. Vice Mayor sounds perfect to me. Because because Governor's like ahead of the mayor. And we've got a Jacob Amaya. And if you're ahead of the mayor, I should ship Gumby your way. Uh, Jacob Amaya for the Dodges. L.A. Dodges. Going to Chuck from McDonald's. Jacob Amaya. Got a uh, teal parallel as well. Chuck just said he's not going to get anything. Right before he uh, got that. What do you think about that, George? That's a... Uh, I don't know, Dane. What, what do I think about it? So here's what we're going to do, Taylor. I'll post this in the trading post. <laughs> yeah, that was Chuck earlier. Um... What we're going to do, Taylor, we're going to send Gumby around. He's on his way to you. You have to post a picture of yourself with Gumby, whatever, and you have to then send Gumby to another Trading Post member. You decide. You have to put in the package something that represents where you're from. Hopefully something that did not, small. Yeah, something that did not come to you in a package that you want to get rid of, though. Yeah, just something like it could be a little button that says Ohio or whatever. You, you know what? You know what it can't be. Uh, yeah. Chris Valamont refractor to four ninety nine for the Twins, and then the next person will add something else to the package, and then after about I don't know thirty or forty stops, we'll send it back to Dynasty, and uh, maybe the coolest item. Maybe we'll do something special or something like that. You guys get to vote on which one's the coolest item or something? So. Yeah. See how many cities we can go to and how many towns. And maybe write write it on there or make a list and keep it in there. Oh, how about a pad of paper? Yeah. And you sign it. Yep. And you put where you're from. With the item. With, the, with what item you put in the box. You cannot sh ship Drew Carey, no. Since you're the mayor, Taylor, you have to post all the rules. See, now I don't have to do anything. <laughs> yes. May yeah, post it all in the trading post. You guys get to make the decision where you send it next and who you want to send it to. You can make a post in there. Who's next? Michael says the uh, item cannot be battery powered. Yep. It's got to nope. be very small. 
No battery powered. By the time it gets 52 items in there, it'd have to be pretty small. Yeah, except we'd have too many dummy cards if it was a dummy card signed. We'd probably need one big list. Here we go, atomic time to 150 for the race. Matthew Liberatore, top 100 scouts. He's number 37, according to scouts. Liberatore. No Hope Solo recreations. <laughs> you snorted. I did. I heard it. I definitely heard it. No Hope Solo. Aren't you supposed to do that? They're supposed to have pictures of you watering the yard like that. No. I thought you said you were going to do that. I didn't say anything oh. even remotely like that. I thought everyone in that first break got one of those. We do have some breakers in Alaska. I We would... Probably have to track them down in the trading post, though. I'm not really sure. Pete Alonzo insert. Riley Green. Oh, Michael said only Hope Solo. No, no. And we have a light blue paper Blake Rutherford for the White Sox to $4.99. Blake Rutherford. Uh, don't put food in the box. That would not, not be good. I'm going to send a... Chicago uh, deep dish or something. Aquino. Victor Victor Mesa. Not to be confused with Victor Mesa. And I see gold shimmer in our future. Let's get a big one. Come on. JJ Blade. Nice. Top 10 pick. In the draft, there you go, Marlins. That is numbered to 50, 28 of 50. Jimmy Tay. Nice blood day there. Fourth pick in the draft. As long as it's sealed, it's good forever. What's that? Food, I guess. Jeez. No sweet butter, no bananas or boiled peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the cheese. Yeah, you got to watch those deep dishes that are have eight pounds of cheese because it's hard to see the cheese. Um, Oakland A's, Hogan Harris, blue refractor. You go Oakland. Oakland oh. Athletics. That is going to be Justin. There you go. Justin CHR. little color auto. 68 of 150. Make that 8 of 150. Mic check. 8 of 150. Dominguez paper, another one. New York Yankees. Still looking for our first Dominguez auto. Be the, uh, I guess, the third case total we've done of Jumbo. We are going to have more in the future. Gotten a couple wits. I think we've gotten one poison. There's a Dominguez Chrome. Poison. Top load that. Poison. Yeah, he's a nice poison. Poison. There's poison. Paper. All right, we do have a random to do. Since Chrome or random stack ship, guys, we don't know who's going to get the Chrome Wit. We don't know who's going to get the Chrome Dominguez or what stack it's going to go into. We're going to do those live on the air. So you guys know who gets those bigger cards. There you go, Yankees on the paper. All right, these are up for the randomizer. The top team in the random will get the Dominguez. The second team will get the Wit. There's these, George. There's those. Uh, we went eight times in this random. So let me set this up. And bye, guys. And I'd say when you get ready to send Gumby, just make sure whoever's getting it, you know they will continue to pass Gumby on. Here we go. Atlanta Braves. Yeah, I think they almost got to request it from you in the trading post yep. or something. Yeah. Atlanta Braves down to the Nationals. Copy. Copying those. Random.org. And we're going eight times. Top name getting the Dominguez. Second name gets Bobby Witt. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth and final time. Good luck. We have the New York Mets getting the Jason Dominguez Chrome. That's, New York New York Mets. That's Joe Rick. We go Joe and the Texas Rangers taking the Bobby Witt Jr. That's Travis S S M A. There you go. Mets on Dominguez. Rangers on Bobby Witt. All right, guys, that was the break. No hitless credit in this one. All inserts and all autos and parallels ship to your team. And then uh, all Chrome cards, random stack ship, no paper ships, uh, except the two big boys. We'll be back uh, in about 10 minutes. Give us about 10 minutes. We're going to get ready with our other webcam. Uh, breaking this on the floor, we're going to do a Leaf Memorabilia Vault. We'll be right back.